Hey y'all. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video discussing a few things. The main topic is going to be about blessings, and I will mention a few other things. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say I got a new song dropping today called Moses. It's going to be on my SoundCloud. I'm going to give the link out later on, and I'm going to attach that link to this video because it will be relevant afterwards anyway. But the main thing I want to talk about is blessings. Not too long ago, I was terminated from my place of employment. I honestly hated it in there, straight up. It was not fun, it was not lit, it was not popping for me, the bread was not working, the hours was not working. It was a shithole. I'm not gonna name drop that place. <laughs> in case a nigga does blow up, I might need to actually get a little sponsorship up in there, you know what I'm saying? Help myself out a little bit. I used to work retail. I got let go about three weeks ago. When I got let go, I had a mix of emotions. Between being upset because that was my only real source of income coming, but also some sort of sense of relief for the sheer fact that I don't have to go back there anymore, somewhere that I didn't like. I didn't really feel all too welcomed by most of my co-workers, mostly because of the fact that I'm a different type of nigga. I don't bump to the same music, I don't care to talk about the same thing, so I didn't share the same views as a lot of people up in that store. And on top of that, I feel like some of them didn't like me just because of my energy. I'm not saying that I'm some sort of blessing to be around, but what I'm saying is I didn't move the same way most people in the store move, you know? A few days ago, I got hit with this abundance. Let me not say abundance. Just recently, I discovered the importance of three things. These three things are blessings, opportunity, and possibilities. I'm gonna tell you the importance of blessings. It was a hellhole up in that spot that I used to work at. Customers weren't really the bad part for me, it was mostly the co-workers and the environment itself. I was getting poop hours on top of poop pay. Because I wasn't selling much of shit up in there, I couldn't get any more hours than what I was getting. You see the vicious cycle in there? Poop hours so you can't sell jack shit. Because you can't sell jack shit, you're going to get poop hours. See how they sort of feed off one another and cause this sort of slippery slope? I just saw dope last night. That movie was actually pretty dope. Anyway, upon getting terminated, I told my mother later on in that day, she told me to keep my head up because of the sheer fact that I hated it in there, that was the God, the universe, life itself preparing me for something else. To view this as a blessing in disguise, that somebody blessed me by taking me out of somewhere I did not want to be, somewhere that I did not like going to on a weekly basis or a daily basis, depending on what my schedule was. Then you have blessings tying into opportunities. In that same week that I got let go, I got a call from my best friend Matthew, sub zero slash, who gave me the keys. He really told me to apply for a position that had just opened up for a job at the library. The thing is, they kind of get to you when they get to you. They'll get your application, but they're gonna take their sweet ass time responding. At least that's what he told me. I have nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm sort of used to that sort of treatment by now. But on top of that, in this past week alone also, with the flood of photographs that I've been putting out on Instagram, I have started getting an actual sort of influx and just this sudden like growth in people requesting to actually do shoots and actually asking to collaborate and work together to create projects. I went to a friend's show Shouts to the homie Spaz. He had a show back in October on the 23rd. When I went to that show, I met a group of great young artists in the New York City area. And I took some photos, mostly videos, of the whole event. And I shared those videos with those artists. And those artists have now come to me asking 
for photography and possibilities of even doing like videos for them, which I have no experience doing, but I am teaching myself, which ties in to the third key thing, possibilities. Now that I'm no longer at this place that I once worked at, it gave me the time to actually think and rationalize how the fuck I'm about to go about this music shit. I have just started my EPK. And for any of you who's not a music head or who is a music head and just doesn't know what an EPK is, it's an electronic press kit. This is essentially a musician's resume. On here is your name, your date of birth, your story, where you started from since birth to where you came now, links to your songs, links to your social media, all sorts of shit. It's basically what you send out to music blog sites, radio hosts, to let them see who you are, what you're about, what your image is, your audience, and how they can work with you, or if they can work with you. I have finally just now taken out the time to make one of those. It's getting reviewed right now. I'm trying to get the final touches on it so that when it's clear and concise, I can send it out to all sorts of radio programs throughout the city, all sorts of blogs throughout the city and all of that. Hopefully I can get my music heard so high to a certain level that I don't even have to be sending out an EPK. These people are just going to come to me asking about my work, asking about if I have any new material coming. You see how the blessing of getting fired presented opportunities for me that have such immense possibilities. Blessings present opportunities that lead to infinite possibilities. Y'all see that, right? I am currently teaching myself how to do, how to edit music videos because I'm at a point in my life where I don't have the money to pay any of these professionals $300, $400, $500 for simple videos, nor do I have the patience for, for anyone that's willing to work free 99 when they are just unreachable. And it's not like they can't do some great, great work. They can create. They can create a dope ass video, but it's just I can never get a hold of them, whether they're not picking up their phone or for some reason their schedule is backed up all the way until 3005. So I didn't want to make this shit too long. All I wanted to say in essence was I have goals. Getting fired was the kick in the ass that I needed to let me know that where I was is not who I'm going to be. It's not who I was meant to be. It's sure as fuck not who I plan on being. Getting fired is a blessing in the skies that has opened the doors for bigger and better opportunities that with the proper timing and right execution will lead to all sorts of infinite possibilities. So, um, yeah, that's it. JSB, Moses drops today, and um, I'm going to be shooting my own music video for that, so get ready for that in the near future. And that's it. Thanks for your time. That's what I'm going to get on my Mom always said I could be a great teacher, so... Quasi with the moto, hunchback, so my neck don't snap from the weight of the world on my shoulders. I don't slack, hit maybe a breaking point, but nigga, I don't crack. All I make is a case of points, so nigga, I brought.